Well, it's time to talk to Sonia from Bryan Insurance Agency with the turkey in the rearview mirror. And it's time to drag out the tree and get the lights up. And it's getting time for that Christmas holiday on the way. That's right. In our house, we have a very strict no tinsel before turkey policy, which means we don't do anything Christmas related until after Thanksgiving is over. But now that we have enjoyed that great holiday, Thanksgiving, it is time to go full speed into Christmas. Now, when Christmas comes around, it means a lot of extra activities, a lot of extra things going on, and uh, you want to make sure that you're covered just in case. That's right, because, you know, with Christmas, it gives us more occasion to shop, to have meals with our family and friends, and to go to parties, but unfortunately for some people, it's also an added opportunity for them to steal things like gifts, cars, identity, even Christmas decorations. So I thought while we're at the first of this holiday season that we should talk about some things to maybe do to keep you safe from those type of things that can happen and can very quickly turn a very happy occasion into a very unhappy occasion. You know, if you got your house decorated for Christmas, if you've got uh, your car at a parking lot, you're, you're inviting uh, problems. Yeah, that's true. Um, I been doing a little bit of reading, and one uh, thing that I read that was an actual survey done by Princeton University, um, that 23 million Americans have had packages stolen off of their porch, Um, and then 16 million Americans have experienced a house fire due to cooking, and 2 million Americans have experienced a house fire caused by Christmas trees and other decorations. So, that's a lot of people, and that's a, on an annual basis is what is estimated, and that's sure sure would hate to see that happen to anybody. And there really are some simple steps that you can take to hopefully protect yourself against things like that. Yeah, there's just things that you, precautions you should take. Uh, you know, and a lot of times when it comes to different things like this, it's just using a lot of common sense. That's right. Um, talking about, we'll start off by talking about packages that are delivered. Um if at all possible, if you if you uh, are not at your home during the day when packages are delivered, if at all possible, have them delivered to your workplace. I know that isn't always a possibility, but uh, it's it's not safe anymore. Probably hasn't been for years to allow uh, UPS or whoever is delivering the package to leave it on your porch because that's a prime target for thieves. Uh, there are several different apps that you can get. Um, where whenever something is delivered, you can get a notification on your phone. So that's, that would be good to have, just so you would know it was there. No, if you didn't get it, you need to notify the company quickly that shipped it to you that you didn't get it. Um, and then, again, you know, some retailers allow you to set a specific time for delivery when you're going to be home. Uh, you can even have, like, a surveillance system, that kind of thing. So there's all kinds of things that you can do, but but just... Don't think that it's going to be okay to have those packages delivered to your porch and when you get off work and go home that they're going to still be there because there's a really good chance they're not. So take those precautions ahead of time and that way you can get those packages. Also about having your home prepared for the the holidays coming in because, you know, putting up lights, putting up lights in the tree, putting up trees in the house, getting it too close to heaters. I mean, different things like that. You're opening yourself up for a lot of problems. Yeah, there's some things you can do to avoid fires. Uh, Candles are really popular during the holiday season. Be sure and place those away, far away from any holiday decorations or even use the flameless candles. Um, If you're when you get your Christmas lights out from previous seasons, make sure that there aren't any cracked cords or frayed ends. Um, make sure that, you know, that some of us, my mom, for example, still has some Christmas decorations that we love to look at that we've had in the family for over 30 years. And at one time, things like that were not made flame resistant, non combustible. So be careful with that stuff and make sure when you do purchase new decorations that they are flame resistant and um, going back to the cooking no jokes from you Rick about people burning down things when they cook but when you are cooking keep an eye on all of that um, to avoid a fire and make sure that your smoke detectors are you know installed and the batteries work so just things that you can do again 
there's really nothing more important than the safety of you and your family and your friends during the Christmas season. And if you could do just a few of these things to keep yourself safe, it, it sure would make for a much happier time. Just make sure you take precautions when it comes to the holidays. Uh, whatever you may be uh, celebrating, just uh, make sure that uh, you're careful out there. You, you watch what you're doing because you don't want to mess up anything and ruin any of your holidays. Now, if folks need to get a hold of you guys, ask about any kind of coverage, things at their home, car, whatever it may be, uh, how's the easiest way to get a hold of you? Well, you can call us, of course. Uh, we're at 549-2525. You can come visit us. We're on the second floor of the Sierra Bank building here in downtown Graham. Or you can visit us on the web, www.brianbrianins.com. Stay tuned. We have more coming up here in the 8 o'clock hour as we keep rolling through this big-time Wednesday.